Now, a company in Birmingham has been demonstrating their new virtual reality technology today, claiming it's the largest setup of its kind in the world. Spread over 6,000 square feet, the aim is for the virtual world to exactly overlay the real one. And that means, so the experts say, it's the most immersive VR experience possible. That sounds like a mission for our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, so we sent him to try it out. We're now pretty familiar with virtual reality. You've seen me looking a bit silly in a VR headset before. And this is what I'm seeing. A dingy room complete with virtual hands. Have you put rubber gloves on me? Yes, we have put rubber gloves on you. Ah. <laughs> oh. But here in Birmingham, the wooden walls and the doors of this old office exactly match the virtual world I'm seeing. You won't notice a difference between the wooden walls here and the actual virtual reality walls. They will, you'll reach out, you'll touch what you see, what you feel. So as you move around, the real world and the virtual world start to blur. Oh, and everything becomes pretty intense. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm not sure I can do that. I'm really not keen to walk across this virtual pit, for example. I'm not ignoring us. <laughs> and the combination of virtual cobwebs and real world dangling ah, string. No, that, I mean, that's the oldest trick in the book. By the time I got to this piece of cheap plyboard with some tape across the top, it actually felt like I was clinging onto iron railings and looking down a very deep stairwell. It's remarkable. You reach out and touch a wall that's in the virtual reality world and it's there in real life as well, but it's different in virtual reality than it is in real life. And it's incredibly immersive. Um, there's parts where the, the real world and the virtual reality world are getting blurred. It was weird because you could smell things, you could see things, you could hear things. It was just really, really bizarre, the whole experience. Could you make it too scary? Yes. Yes, we could make it too scary. However, through um, a lot of research and talking to the customers as well, we can also dial it down a bit. We can take things out, we can put things back in. As well as entertainment, although really, how entertaining is this? You could even use the system to train medical staff or firefighters. But for now, this is a demonstration of the potential of the technology ahead of a planned opening in the autumn. Ah! That was just mean. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Minutes Today, Birmingham. And David hasn't quite stopped shaking yet.